Yeah, I see. You prefer blacks over a nice loyal white guy, but all right then, I'll let you do your thing. Oh yes, it's totally pigmentation of the skin as to why she didn't pick you. Not the fact that you're a walking Petri dish, but no, totally pigmentation. Actually, that might be an insult to Petri dishes. At least they have culture. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash nice guys, and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. If this video can hit that good old fat stack of them thousand likes, that would be absolutely amazing and I would be blown away. Hey, what's good? Are we still on to study today? Of course. So what are you doing right now then? Uh, sitting on bed, uh, petting uh, the throbbing slick rock hard chicken. Well, I just just look for a cringe gif, but I'm not sure what sort of response that was supposed to elicit from me. The effing flabbergasting is what it is. Uh, obviously, it was a mistake to say, I swear, I'm usually a gentleman and a nice guy. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! <laughs> But you're just too sexy and smart. And I'd like to formally apologize and we use better judgment next time. I think I'm good on the studying today, dude. Say that to my face, you dummy. Stupid hey, H A N A T L A clunk. Try me. Okay, look, I know I get to censor the ever living shit out of that, but you get the gist. Also, hold up. Did this dude really try to say that tall was an insult? Only bad thing to happen to you for the other person being tall is that you become puntable. Hey, how are you doing, Blank? Are you awake, Blank? Are you awake? I, dude, how bad at reading a room you gotta be to not understand that if you send a message at 2 a.m. and they don't get back to you, maybe take a freaking hint. Hey, what's up? Are you awake, Blank? Hi there. Yes, I do sleep in the middle of the night. Was there something you needed? Hello, well, nah, just wanted to chat and see how you were doing. Uh, so, do you not respond in the middle of the day, too? <laughs> Typical. Maybe you'd respond to me if I wasn't a nice guy. Dude, if they don't get back to you in the span of eight minutes, Jesus Christ, let them breathe. I am at work right now. I respond to people when I have the energy and the time. At this point, I will never have the energy nor the time for you. Best of luck to you. Nah, there's always time. As you know, I work a full-time job, and I work overtime hours, and I babysit my kids on the weekends, and I help out with their school stuff and medical appointments, and I go to all of their extracurricular stuff. And when I'm not helping with the kids, I keep my house clean and do the yard work. I take the time to fix my cars instead of take them to the mechanics, but yet I always find the time to respond to people when they text me. So don't come at me with your don't have the time bull. Wow, you babysit your kids? What a tremendous clunksicle you must be. What the heck is a clunksicle? Here, I googled the meaning for you. Where'd you find this? What the heck is my picture doing there? Where is this? Oh, what? You want to know what wiki page this is on so you can go in and edit it? No, no, no. This is going to stick around for a little bit. You got my respect for making the effort to make somebody else look stupid. Normally, that's something I do. But if somebody else does it, you done did it well. But really, dude, you're upset that a person didn't respond to the five to ten messages you sent between one and two a.m. and didn't respond for the other four you sent in the span of eight minutes? You are completely, totally the number one example of relationship goals. I am absolutely blown away with how the fact you have stayed single this long because I, I swear to God you can walk into a whole convention center and then turn that place into a slip and slide. Just watch. And also, dude, babysitting your own kids... You mean being a parent? I have the time to do all of these things, and I still have the time to reply. And let me guess, one-worded replies such as, okay, K, okay, thumbs up, or just okie dokie. Hey, hello, well, I was going through my contacts, and I saw your number. Hey, I don't have your number saved in my contacts. Who is this? It's a nice guy from Psych. We went to this place together. Oh, yeah. How have you been? Pretty good. Just living life. What about you? That's good. I think 
things have been great for me. I'm glad to hear that. I do miss our class together, though. Yeah, I really enjoyed that class. The professor was a great professor. She was good and all, but I miss, like, having the class with you. I actually had a big crush on you. I'd love to link up sometime. Oh, I didn't know that. And what do you mean by link up? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want that to mean. <laughs> Winky face. Well, I am married, so I don't think I want to do that. Also, I haven't talked to you in a long time. It's just a little out of the blue. I know you totally had a thing for me back then, and hey, <laughs> maybe it'll be fun. Like I just said, I am married. I'm not trying to be rude, but no thank you. Why though? I mean, I get you're married, but we can just hang out. Dude, I said no. I do not want to. You can leave me alone now. Why did you lead me on though? What do you mean led you on? You were flirting with me when I texted you. Like being all excited and stuff. All you have to say is yes to hanging sometime. Yeah, but you you didn't call it hanging, you called it linking up. No, I'm done responding. Get over yourself. I was just horny and wanted to F. You don't have to be so ridiculous. Dude, she said she's married. Why is it such a big deal? You aren't as hot as you might think you are. Uh, you know, you being an eager beaver ain't exactly getting that statement through. Yet I was being nice and S, and you had to be a be about it. Don't flatter yourself. I'll be deleting your number. You're boring anyways. Ah uh, yes, and because uh, how boring she was was totally the reason you were uh, going to try to sleep with her with as much enthusiasm as a kid getting a console on frickin' Christmas. So you would kind of think that if somebody says that they're married, that's usually like where the gate closes and like things stop there. But no, Dum Dum's here got a battering ram trying to think he can bust through that. I just can't believe leave you. I complimented you for months by swiping up on your story. I have offered so many times to take you out to dinner and to pay, and all I get is thank you or I have a boyfriend? Oh, you seriously disgusting Gust me. Even if you did have a boyfriend, I would be an upgrade. And it's sad you can't see that. Pathetic, really. I go to the gym, I have a six-figure paying job, and I am quite attractive. And that is still not enough for even take you on a date or receive any pictures for my efforts. I can't tell if you are blind or ungrateful. Maybe both? I don't even find you attractive anymore with how selfish and just rude you are to me after I've been so generous with my compliments and time. I hope your current boyfriend treats you like your last ex and you clearly need some karma in your life to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Look who's talking, schmuck. LOL, okay. No, don't do that right after he sent all of that time and effort making that pissy rant. You'll make him go nuclear. Even if all of this is true, he's gonna be the only one noticing that not a single bit of this was highlighting him being a decent person to talk to. And that unsurprisingly is gonna be one of the hardest things for him to understand. When star, I was very pleased with the service that I received. The person on drive through was very friendly, especially the girl at the window. She was very pretty and nice, and her voice was nice as well. Uh, she gave me my drinks and number and had me pull ahead to wait for my food, and I knew that I had to do something. When my food came out, I gave the sober a piece of paper with my phone number and name on it, and then told him to give it to the girl in the drive through but she never texted me. Either the server did not give her my number, or she was being rude to a paying customer by not talking to them. I was very disappointed in this part of my service. I will not be returning in the future, as I cannot look at such disrespectful employees again. Ah yes, you know, how dare the person that was just trying to do their job, didn't call you after work, and want to start communicating with you because you thought they were 
pretty. How dare they do just their job and not want to start forming connections with their customers? Uh, sir, while you're at it, could you please point us in the direction of the movie that you saw that work in so we know for a fact to never let you watch it again? Because there is absolutely no reason anybody should be writing their phone number on a receipt to give to somebody who's just doing their job. A cooking competition where contestants make whatever they want, but my husband wanders around the kitchen and stands in front of the drawer they need. Oh, this tweet and thread could have been my perfect opportunity to attract the attention of a few girls who like their men cooking and serving them food in bed. But sigh, I ain't six foot tall or eight inches long. I'll just go back to my usual business, I guess. Oh no, what a travesty. The world will never be the same. So, Blank told me in so many words that I'm wasting my time loving you. I told her I appreciate it, but I don't give an F. I believe the words unconditional love were in the letter I wrote to you. That means how you feel towards me is irrelevant. I love you, Blank, so effing deal with it. So long as you are in my life, I will continue to want the best for you. If that can't be me, then fine. I'll still be watching over you, and I'm still gonna love you. If that bothers you, then quit, cause I ain't gonna just stop loving you. That's not who I am, and it's not who I want to be. With all of my love, Big Daddy Blank. Uh, n don't, don't, do, don't call yourself that. You're not Big Daddy, you're Big Dum Dum. Sorry, I just had to walk home with this lingering over me, and I just had to say something. Um, you ever heard of those stories where people write those emails or write those letters and then just chuck them? Maybe do that next time with that type of a thought. M24, I want a submissive wife who will obey me and who I can control. So, I'm socially awkward and introverted. Yarn Reddit, we already know. I have never had a girlfriend or anything, but there is something I want more than a woman who will obey me. I am a hard-working man who wants to provide... But I want the woman I'm with to bear my children. I want to make her wear clothes, which I think will make her look sexy. I want steak and uh, the slobby knob. I want her to worship me, and I will touch her whenever I feel like it, even if we are out in public. I struggle with women, but lately I've been having thoughts of kidnapping a woman, brainwashing her, and turning her into my perfect wife. I'd like to come home to work on a Friday and see my submissive wife along with our beautiful kids. I also want at least four kids minimum, in fact. I will push her to have as many kids as possible. First off, kids are expensive. You're gonna really regret that. Secondly, even before the kidnapping part, I knew for a fact I wasn't the only one where I was feeling those tied up in the basement next to a radiator vibes, right? Please know the difference between submissive and kidnapped. There, uh, there is very much a difference, but I feel like this dude don't understand that. Woo her, admire her, and uh, make her feel like she is the most sublime creature on Earth. If only women wanted this, maybe when the movie was written they did. Nowadays it seems like they want to have fun or uh, not talk to you at all. Hey dude, don't you dare try to slander Gomez. I have come to accept the fact that all of the women in the world came together and agreed to never date me specifically. Ah yes, it was a meeting of the council among the world and the multiverse in a, of itself. The council of women have definitely agreed that they will not date this one random schmuck here. This sounds crazy, but you're not me. You don't understand what I've been through. Looking back in my relationship history, I have only been in two relationships. They were both pretty short and pretty bad, like two months at the most, and I have been rejected so many times, I just stopped trying. I don't bother anymore. I'm stuck making friends. I also came to accept that my queen, who I haven't met yet, is a dead, because seeing how many women Women are getting off by cereal offers and their hurting boyfriends slash husbands. My soulmate is probably among the dead, so I am 
effed. I can't force a woman to see me as her future hubby. Maybe after I die and get reincarnated, I might get lucky. Yeah, I know I was all female women meeting there and decided to collectively to just avoid you. Yeah, no, totally. I'm not the only one that understands this. Hey, Dingus, also, isn't the theory about reincarnation is that your life when you get reincarnated is based on how you lived in the past life? I mean, that's, that's pretty much in every single case except for the anime characters. Maybe the moving truck has something to do with it. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the most of internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.